Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to um, Alchemy with Zero Phase. Uh, you know, that last video I did gave me a couple ideas. Um, I really want to empower you guys to be able to have a lot more control over your, your uh, stable diffusion interface, your automatic 1111 interface. And uh, one of the things that um, really bothered me uh, was, you know, every time I loaded the interface, um, the settings that it would go to by default weren't necessarily the ones that I wanted. Yes, you know, the last model you loaded would be there, but things like width, height, uh, config scale, or, or sampling steps, uh, default sampler, I'd have to go through and manually change those every time I loaded, reloaded the interface. So I came across something somewhere uh, that um, explained that you can go into a file on the root of your, your Stable Diffusion web UI folder called ui-config.json. It's a very long file, and this is uh, my current one here, uh, that contains pretty much all of the customizable settings within the automatic 1111 interface. And uh, you know, just a couple that I have modified um, are the default the sampler uh, from the Euler A to the DPM plus plus SDE cross. But you know what's cool about this is if there's things in your interface that you are not using that's just cluttering stuff up, you can actually hide them. You go in here and you can change these values on these two faults. And what that does is it disables it in the interface. Now, I've gone through and modified a lot of these in here for what I do. And, uh, you know, I thought about offering this file, putting it in the Google Share Drive that I have, uh, that I'm giving people access to, that I've given people access to. And maybe I will, but I get a little nervous about that because I don't know if you're running on the same version, if there are differences in the files, I, I think I will probably not do that. And one of the reasons why is because I think it also contains customizations in here regarding um, uh, the plugins that you have, the extensions, I should say. So <clears throat> what I would recommend is go through, find the basic things that you know you modify a lot. You know, it could be like the uh, default resolution, you know, uh, what the minimum and maximum value are. It used to be 2096. I changed mine to 4096 uh, because sometimes I do actually work at resolutions slightly higher than 2096. So anyway, you can go through that, adjust those settings however you want, but this is a good file to be aware of and it'll give you a lot of uh, uh, power over what your interface looks like uh, and what's available and um, what your default values are. So have fun with that. Uh, and uh, again, this was just a short video. I really appreciate uh, the views, the likes, the comments on my previous videos, and I look forward to doing more videos. I got a couple more ideas here I'm probably gonna throw out. So talk to you later.